here. I just wanted to check in and find out how you guys are doing this week with your muscle conditioning drill and the assignment that is due next Sunday night. So you are going to want to spend time this week if you haven't already and figure out what movement that you want to perform and realize that you need to do this exercise with three different tempo changes and you also need to be able to demonstrate a change in intensity. So it's either going to get a little bit easier for somebody if that's really struggling or the exercise is going to get a little bit more challenging just depending on what you're going to offer them. You're just going to roll this progression or regression right into your demonstration. You will need to repeat your warm up. I will not necessarily be grading you on your warm up, but I will certainly give you feedback because I would like for you to feel really competent with your warm up. The most important thing you need to walk away from the warm up understanding is the 32 count phrase. In this particular muscle conditioning assignment, I would like for you to change tempo three times. Now, if you're not exactly positive what that means, let me give you a breakdown. Then I'm gonna play a little bit of music for you and you can listen and see what I mean. Watch me do it, two, three different tempos. And also you can use these tempos. There's only three or four or five different tempos you can actually do. But remember, I don't want you to exactly copy anything that I give you on a video, all right? Now, when you are working with weights, make sure that you have shoes on and ensure that you have a clean, clear space. Your music is easily heard and I can see your full entire body and hear your voice and music. Those are all components that will be included on the rubric, which you should find tonight in D2L um, attached to your announcements and also on your Facebook group. So the rubric for the muscle conditioning component. It will include a, an intro. You need to say hello and greet people formally. Then I'm going to have an opportunity for you to either gain points for doing your warm up or no points if you don't do the warm up. Um, again, not a lot of there's you're not going to fail if you do the warm up. You're going to do well. If I can give you feedback. That will help you do it better i will but if you do the warm-up you're going to get full points so don't forget your warm-up and practice the 32 count phrase then when you get to the muscle conditioning section you can literally break away from the warm-up all right thanks you guys wonderful job getting warmed up now we're going to focus on um, an upper body exercise and we're going to be grabbing weights so if you've got some five pound weights or some 10 pound weights you can use those now, if you don't have weights in your home and you still want to work along with me, can you check in your cupboards and see if you have any cans or jars, something that won't break if you drop it, um, that you can use while we're exercising today? Because that's a load also and it will help you get stronger. So those are options that you might want to consider if you don't have any weights at your very own home. Okay, and then once you introduce the movement, you're going to start your music Wait for your 32 count phrase and perform whatever your first exercise is. Now, generally, when people are waiting to do an exercise and they just came off of a warm up, they're not going to want to stand there very long. So try to get moving into your exercises pretty quickly. And it's okay if it's a single joint exercise. So say you've got your weights in hand. And by the way, I know I'm not wearing shoes right now. I was just practicing yoga. Um, I do have shoes and I do want you to wear shoes, please, when you do your presentation, okay? Thank you for the pass right now. I needed to film this for you though, super fast. But if you are performing the exercises and the music turns on and you find your eight count phrase, right? And you start at the top of the phrase. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many reps did you just do of the bicep curl while we were moving at the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight count? Okay. Now I'm going to count the, the music. I want you to count the number of repetitions that I'm doing. Okay. And go. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You only performed two full repetitions of the bicep curl if you used one full eight count phrase. Okay, does that make sense? So that's a two and two tempo. Here is another example of a 32 count phrase, eight count broken down. So you've got your music going and you're at two and two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep going. Friends, we're gonna transition into a tempo of three counts down, one count up. And we're gonna go in three, two, one. So three, two, one, one count up, that's one. Three, two, one, count up, that's two. Now, I'm going to count the eight count phrase. Look and see how many of these I can do in one eight count phrase. Three counts down, one count up is the tempo. Are you ready? Three, two, one, up is what you're gonna be counting. And I'll start the music, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if you want to do four of the biceps curls at a three down, one count up tempo, you're gonna have to use a full 32 count phrase. That's your second example of a tempo change. Here's another tempo change. Let me give you another body part. If you're doing a lower body exercise, say a squat or a lunge, and you wanna change tempo, keep in mind how many exercises can you complete in the eight count phrase. That's how you're gonna find your tempo. So the music will start, which I'll play for sample for you in just a moment, but if you're doing lower body, Remember, the music goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna do a two count squat. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many squats can I do in an eight count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I count a full out eight count, I can go down once and come back up once. If I wanna go down and up two times, how many eight counts is that gonna take me? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if you're gonna go down, up, down, up, that's going to be one eight count. Now take that down, up, down, up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go three, two, one, power up. Three, two, one one power up. Let's go down and power up three or go slow up. Down, three up, right? Now, if you wanna change and add a little bit more intensity to this exercise, last time with the tempo of three up, let's go three down and power up if you want more intensity. Three down and power up. If you don't wanna jump, Another way is you can rise up on your toes. Three, two, one, rise up on your toes. So there are some examples of progressions and regressions and some examples of tempo changes. Now remember, weights can get tricky because sometimes students want to decrease the load by simply picking up or putting down weights. And although that is true and would be the case if you were doing group training or personal training one-on-one, -on -one, that is not always going to work in a group fitness setting. And that is the reason why I'm not allowing you to do that in this particular presentation. However, I know that in some cases it will work, but for this assignment, that's not what I'm looking for. So if you're doing a lunge sequence and you need to figure out a way to make the exercise harder, you're gonna have to think about base of support. If you don't have as much of your body in contact with the earth or whatever tool you're using, is the exercise gonna become a little bit easier or is the exercise gonna become a little bit harder? Mm -hmm. What if you're in plank 
and you're doing an exercise and you want it to be a little bit easier, you could put one knee down or you could put two knees down. Watch. So we're in plank pose and believe it or not, you could perhaps perform a push up in this posture in tempo. So the music is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's one down, one up. Listen to my count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can perform one full push up with um, an eight count phrase. My knees are down to make the exercise a little bit easier and I can pick my knees up to make the exercise a little bit harder. Those are really easy things that you can do and you will be successful. Now, once you go through the intro, the warm up, and then you show me and demonstrate what is on the rubric for your muscle conditioning activity, simply come to the phone and say thank you or however you're recording this and say thank you so much. I'll look forward to seeing you next week. And that is called a close. And that's enough. That will work. All right. So let me try um, the biceps curl demo 